Back in the 1980s, there were tons of good guy action figures, but not enough bad guy action figures unless you were collecting the G.I. Joe or He-Man toy line until now. There are good guys, there are bad guys, then there are the worst. Hello toy collectors and YouTubers, this is Filmschool93 with another Authentic Legends and Collectibles toy review. And today's toys will be reviewing Super 7's reaction action figures of the worst Wave 2 that I've had in my collection for the last couple of years now, but never got around to doing a toy review just because the last time I did a toy review on the worst Wave 1 action figure several years ago, it didn't seem to be something a lot of my viewers and collectors were interested in at the time. Now that I've gone back and seen the views on my past videos, the toy review for the Worst Wave uh, 1 has already had 3k views, so as luck would have it, I did film Wave 2 back in the day when I first received those action figures, and so here we are with the toy review today. But before we get started on the toy review, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications for future toy reviews. So like usual, looking at the card work done by uh, Ed Ripka here. Awesome job. Love the artwork. Very, very, very detailed painting. It sells these action figures for what it's worth. So I think that's the one thing about the Super 7 uh, reaction action figures. When you're paying the extra money for the $18 a pop, you're also paying for that artwork. And I have mentioned that a couple of times. And so therefore, here is Ed Ripka's artwork looking absolutely amazing uh talented artist by far one of the best of this of our generation here uh so i really 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 like his artwork actually look how that she do so pops on that uh uh, it's trying to focus in a little bit better here. Uh, sorry, so there, so there she is. But uh, the Shidusa, Shidusa, however you pronounce her, I think that artwork, she looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, so just amazing artwork and the detail that goes into uh, doing that artwork. Uh, but once again, this is the worst wave two. These are the cards in the front, and this is the first uh, variant that came out, because I know they have other variants too, so I was able to get the first variant when I got this back several years ago, and like I said, I videoed this uh, several years ago, uh, but now here we are doing the toy review for these action figures, but they look really, really amazing. I'm just pleased. And here's the back of the card uh, showing uh, Wave 1. On the back, and then here's Wave 2. Now, the Wave 1 I got is actually a different variant. I think the second one, like the Graveyard Shift or something like that. But this is what is on the back of the cards to show you what you have with these reaction action figures. Okay, so we're going to start off with Red Tiger. And first off, what in the name of Tony the Tiger Bull is this? <laughs> this is kind of crazy. He's like a little wrestling boxer. I don't know something, but here's this vinyl cape in the back and the tiger. Look at the detail that's put into that. Absolutely uh, genius. If you ask me, very genius work to be put into this vinyl cape. Like I said, it's that same type of material like your Darth Vader, vintage uh, Darth Vader from the late 1970s, early 1980s, Kenner action figure would be like. And that's what all these figures are done, like done in that 3.75 style. But the detail in this is absolutely amazing. I think they've done a great job uh, on, the, on the tigers, of uh, sculpt of his head and this body. Very, very, very neat. And I'm, uh, I like that. So let's do the five-point articulation test to make sure that nothing falls off, tears, breaks, pops off. Very sturdy plastic, very, very sturdy plastic there with uh, Super 7 building these reaction action figures. And of course, speaking of Super 7 and reaction, this is their brainchild. So, oh, um, here's an, he comes as an accessory. <laughs> Get this. His accessory is uh, an arm uh, with the bone hanging out. So, uh, <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, a very good touch to this figure. But here he is, Red Tiger from reaction action figures. And like I said, this is the brainchild, uh, the worst is the brainchild of Super 7. All right, moving on forward, here is Werewolf Biker. Pretty cool looking sculpt, a lot of detail in this. Really, really amazing. You can see the hair in his arms, uh, the detail in the pants, the paint apps. Just the sculpt is truly, truly, truly cool. Absolutely cool. And the detail, nothing ever missed on these figures. You can never go wrong with these action figures uh, from Super 7 for the most part with the detail that go into making these action figures. But the very menacing, this figure. We can do a five-point articulation test to make sure that the arms, the legs, nothing pops off. 
Once again, these are five-point articulated action figures done in that vintage late 1970s, early 1980s Kenner style of action figures from Star the Star Wars line. So that's what they're trying to do here. And they really do a magnificent job of making him look like that. Now, here he has a, his uh, pull stick, if you will, as his weapon. Very interesting weapon to use. And I, I mean, of course, he's supposed to be this biker, and I guess he's at a biker bar, bar and has a pull stick. So I think that's... Uh, <laughs> I think that's... That's very funny how they kind of did that. Uh, very nice touch to uh, to what they've done here on this figure. Uh, very flimsy plastic. If you're not careful, uh, you might you know might bust the plastic. Something might happen to that. So you got to be careful with that uh, accessory. But I'm hoping that uh, it lasts for as the times and the years have gone by. So here we go with uh, Franken Ghost. One of my favorites out of this wave two uh, of the worst line, I think they've done a great job. It's see-through, uh, uh, you know, see-through plastic, but there still has color into it for the detail. So that's really neat how they've done that. And of course, he's got this uh, ball and chain here hanging and chains around him, but it's see-through, but yet it has that color in it. And I just, it's neat how they did that with the plastic. Very amazing. So I'm going to try to do a five-part articulation test once again to make sure his head doesn't pop off. His arms don't pop off. His legs don't pop off. Just making sure that Franken Ghost is okay. But like I said, this one out of this Wave 2 line is one of my favorites uh, of these figures. Uh, very sturdy, hard plastic. Nothing's going to break on these for these action figures. Uh, nine times out of ten, I don't have a problem with Super 7 3.75 action figures breaking on me. It's more the Funko uh, 3.75 action figures that I have a lot of hard times with the figures uh, breaking or busting but no very sturdy plastic very cool detail on the back of the chain here on the back of his back so yeah here is franken ghost now we're on to captain dead star very very cool <laughs> very very talented uh artists and designers whoever come up with the idea for the look of these figures i like this figure once again that's a vinyl plastic cape a uh, vintage uh, doing a shout out to darth vader obi-wan kenobi's capes from the uh, late 1970s, early 1980s, Kenner Star Wars action figures, but the detail is amazing. You got your peg leg here. You got your uh, other sculpting here. The detail, the paint apps, the shiny little gold on here. I mean, this this video doesn't do it justice. You'd have to see this in person to just appreciate what a fine sculpted action figure this uh, action figure is. But once again, I really, really dig in how they've done the design on this. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Very good looking figure here. Five point articulation test, make sure nothing pops off. And I do notice here he's got a little bit of a crack uh, in between, a little bit of a spacing in between the plastic. So see, it's okay down here, but it starts to split up at the top. Now that's one thing that I was just talking about nine times out of 10. So is this figure gonna break? Well, I've had this for several years now and played, when played with it with my kids and it hasn't broke since I've done this video. Uh, several years ago so uh, there you go his weapon his weapon of choice is uh oh, yeah, okay five-part articulation test on his head it's a little wobbly a little loose but not over the top loose but his weapon his accessory is his flaming sword here is my flaming sword and i will get you guys i fly throughout outer space and i am the one and only captain dead star with my sword <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good detail. I like this. This is a good figure. This wave two of uh, the worst is really a good collection. I think they've done a good job. Uh, you know, kind of holding a candle to the first wave. They've done a really good job with these action figures. All right, this one's kind of a weird Cortex Commander. Um, if you notice his head right off the bat, it's a little brain floating in a jar container, if you will. Um, so yeah, kind of. Kind of weird in that way. You know what these figures are remind me of? Well, you can oh, once again, you can take the uh, yeah, you can take that off uh, and move his head around. But these figures remind me of a cross between He Man, the Ninja Turtles, and Toxic Avenger type figures is where that where I feel like the worst kind of floats in there on. So I I think you know they've done a really good job with the design and the idea. Once again, where are they coming from all this and where this is coming as the brainchild from Super Seven. Once again, the five point articulation test to make sure that nothing falls off, nothing breaks. Uh, but I like I said once again, I really think that they've done a great job. These were supposed to look like three point seven five action figures from the late nineteen seventies and early nineteen eighties Star Wars action figures. Here is an accessory: a handheld gun 
nice little detail for this accessory and this little gun. And there, you know, your little uh, Cortex commander can, you know, boss everybody around. You will do what I ask you to do. If not, I will arrest you, shoot you, surrender now. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, they were supposed to do like a cartoon of the of the worst. They talked about it years ago, but that never happened. All right. Here is my personal favorite from this line wave two of the worst she do -sa. the sculpt on this is phenomenal they knocked a home run on this one at super seven like i said i adore this figure to no end with a detour the snake on her hand with a ton sticking out the scales the paint apps um everything is so amazing on this action figure look at the detail on this look at this this just screams like just absolutely amazing. This to me, this just screams like you know the old uh, Clash of the Titans, uh, Stopco animation, you know uh, Medusa type thing. And you know her face doesn't have that much detail to it. it. Looks like she's munching on her lip, and that's okay. But the, for the most part, I really do like this action figure. It's personally, like I said, my favorite. The detail in this is amazing, and I just can't get over the fact that. Uh, they've done just a great job on the sculpt. Five point articulation test to make sure nothing bends, tears, pops off. Uh, yeah, her head turns all the way because her hair's not long enough to be kind of that a nuisance of being in the way of not being able to turn. Of course, she moves her little snake-like body and her accessory. She comes with bows and arrows, and I don't know if I'm putting this on her right or not. I'm trying to do it like this, but I mean, you know, whatever. It, it is what it is. Do I stick it around her neck? Do I, <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Not a big deal. Like I said, Shidusa, Shadusa, my favorite out of this line. She looks amazing. And of course she is. Here's her. Like I said, there comes the bow with the arrows. Just figure out what you can. Obviously, this is the only hand you can put it in because the other one is a snake hand, which is that is just like crazy cool design uh, for this. But here she is. Shidusa, Shadusa, if you will. Uh, love this figure here with Super 7 Reaction the Worst. Here they are, all of them, the worst. Wave 1 and 2, and Wave 2 obviously is in the front. They look, like I said, brilliant idea. They look amazing. They look gorgeous. They look phenomenal. They are absolutely fantastic action figures. I think they are just superb for what it's worth. And like I said, here in the back are Wave 1. Now, I remember, I got the Variant 2, not Variant 1, so mine's the Graveyard Shift versions, but I still have these all together, and yeah, these are just really cool action figures. I got them both at Super 7. Extra bonus! Wave 3.1, I call it, because they're not releasing all the figures at the same time. I was able to get these two figures. So here we go. Extra bonus to go with this. And it's perfect timing now that I'm doing these worst Wave 2 figures together. So here we are. We start off with King Hell. And looking like Skeletor, I, I have to admit, I really, this looks very suspicious on where this was, uh, uh, <laughs> thought up the design. Rip off! But here is this vinyl cape in the back, uh, looking like a spider web. Uh, very, very cool. Once again, late 1970s, early 1980s, vinyl cape, looking like the Star Wars vintage Kenner action figures, uh, like the Darth Vader capes, Obi-Wan Kenobi capes, but the, the sculpt on this is amazing. Like, mucho home run knocked out of the ballpark for super seven on this one they did not miss a beat like i said very very reminiscent of uh skeletor from he-man on this one um so i mean you can't tell me that that wasn't inspired by this figure uh five point articulation to make sure that nothing po pops off nothing falls off uh head can get it to turn all the way around i believe so yep perfect and it's like a shiny metallic paint so the paint apps on this is also amazing as well for what they did here on this design and so like i said i'm i'm really really impressed with this figure uh his accessory that he comes with is his staff with a little uh on the top if you look here it's uh i got it, i think i got it upside down it's a it's a tarantula if you will a spider really cool design uh, sturdy plastic on the top, uh, and overall sturdy plastic on the accessory. You might be able to bend it and break it at some point if you play with it too, uh, long. So don't play with it too long, okay? <laughs> Here is Killer Bat. Um, what can I say? Like, Samurai meets a baseball player here? 
<laughs> the whoever comes up with the stuff like they must have like crazy wine there at Super Seven, and and and, and kudos to you because I really think that I admire that for having the imagination to come up with these designs and come up with this look. But here he is, Killer Bat. Uh, ready to go up to bat for battle, <laughs> if you will. Let's do the five-point articulation test. Of, I think, I, ooh, his head <clears throat> doesn't seem to want to turn around that well. So let's do the arms. Uh, make sure that they don't pop up or fall off. Very hard, sturdy plastic on this action figure. So th nothing should really break on this. And like I said, the paint apps and the detail are amazing. And his accessories. Uh, hold on. I think I could get his accessory here if I can find it here. His accessory is a baseball bat. And you're thinking to yourself, baseball bat? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Watch this. Watch this. He has his samurai hidden inside this thing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's cool, the detail. Now, you've got to put it in just right, because if you don't, and you shove it in, you might break it. So you've got to be able to put this samurai back into the bat, baseball bat part of the, the baseball bat there and make sure that it doesn't break. So you go and put this in his hand, if you can get it in there. And it's usually, sometimes it's hard for me to kind of get, you know, not try to bump the lighting on the camera, trying to get these accessories in there. So do forgive me for that. There, his bat is in his hand, and I like this next accessory. It's it's a baseball mitt. Look at that. And it's like really, really uh, movable plastic, like rubber almost kind of. And it fits right in there like perfect. So this guy's just, he's he, he's cool. Killer bat. I love this figure. <laughs> so here is what I got of wave one and two so far. This is wave one and two of the worst. And then I call it like wave 3.0, 3.1. But if you're into crazy things like this, you're into like, you know, Toxic Avenger, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, uh, horror films, crazy stuff like that, then this is what you should get in your collection. The worst is absolutely amazing, and these figures are awesome. If you want these worst action figures, then head on over to Super7.com just by clicking on the link below in the description of this video and get these the worst action figures today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button below and please subscribe to our channel.